question time again, and there's an interesting question that came across. Um, I want to read more scripts, which I love hearing. Every writer needs to be reading as many screenplays as possible. Um, but which ones should I read? Do you have suggestions for certain scripts to read? Um, it's, it's a tricky question because it's so relative to the genre that you're writing in, the particular type of story that you want to be writing. Um, the best first approach is to focus on the genre that you want to write in and then read those screenplays. Any movie that you've seen that you enjoyed, just focus on how, what did the words on the page look like. Um, my, my personal preference, the first script that I read where I had a legitimate thought of, wow, I can see the emotion on the page was the Cider House Rules, um, good John Irving. Um, and the script was so well written from an emotional standpoint. And John Irving, of course, is famous for that, but um, he's an author first and foremost. The way he delivered the words on the page, it was such a craftsmanship in terms of how he was making sure we were seeing this emotion. And I think if there's if there's any rule that we screenwriters have to live by, it's that we have to show people things. We can't tell them. We can't just explain things in a screenplay. The visuals have to express the emotion. Um, and it comes from everything from the literal scenery um, and what that represents metaphorically or thematically or the blocking between two characters. How are they moving toward each other or away from each other? Um, all of those visuals have something to say. It's not just in the dialogue. And then, of course, there are reasons to read screenplays also for reasons of like formatting and how do you do this or that. But um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I mean, the final draft does it for you. you know, like, there's not that much to think about. Um, there are tricks you can play and little things like, you know, by Simon Kinberg or Shane Black. Nora Ephron was amazing. Um, you can learn little tricks in terms of how to form, you know, just where to put the words. Um, but you have to be the artist at the end of the day. And to add to that, um, try to read current screenplays. You know, don't go back and read Jaws or The Godfather, even though th those are amazing movies. Alien, um, the formatting back then was so different. The page length was so much longer. They're also written by people who were likely just going to be directing it themselves. Do not read Quentin Tarantino screenplays and think that this is how you do it. It's not. The guy was not only out of his mind, <laughs> but he was he knew he was directing that movie. So it didn't matter. Like, he, however long that script was, whatever, like he's going to figure it out for you as a screenwriter who is just trying to get a project set up or something or financed or whatever. And, you know, you're only going to be the writer. Write it for other people, because the, the number one rule for screenwriting is that this is an invitation to collaborate with somebody or a multiple people. This is the beginning of a project. This is the beginning of a business. This is just the template for what it will eventually look like. So definitely read scripts that are current, especially for TV. Um, study the format, study the, 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 not only the format of how a show works in terms of the repetitive nature of the episodes, but also the literal format on the page. Are the scene headings bolded for this particular type of show? Are they not? You got to be reading a lot of scripts.